Welcome back to the rig series. Today we're talking about the super clamp and why it's so super. This is one of the most versatile pieces of rigging gear that you can get and I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways that you can rig it up but it really doesn't scratch the surface of what you can do with this. You can rig up cameras, microphones, lights in so many unique situations. So if you don't already have one I highly recommend grabbing one by the end of this video. The link is in the description. Now there are two distinct styles of super clamps. Here's the ratchet handle and then there's the T-shaped handle. I have both. Uh, the ratchet handle is really great for getting a nice firm grip to just tighten it up. The T handle is great for getting in harder reach places because as you can see this ratchet handle does take up a bit of space. Fortunately both models allow you to unlock it and then turn it into place so that you can tighten up in case you're jutting against a wall or something like that. So that's the main difference between the two super clamp styles. Everything about it is the same. You take the super clamp and you use the handle to tighten it down onto square, round, or rectangular stock or other irregular shaped items. Each super clamp looks like this but also comes with this triangular item that you can actually slip inside here to give you a flat edge in case whatever you're gripping onto is thin or maybe just smaller in size. Additionally, every super clamp typically comes with this little spigot right here. This is what goes into the hole. It has a safety latch which you press in, you slide the spigot in, and then right there it's nice and locked in, it won't come out. But you also tighten down this little knob to make sure it's nice and secure and doesn't twist around in there. And so this is what your super clamp looks like when you get it. It has the spigot, it's got your tightening handle for the teeth here, and then the teeth grips onto whatever you're attaching this to. It could be a desk, it could be a pole, it could be the top of a car. Basically, you're going to be able to do the same things you can do with a Cardellini, Mathlini vice grip that you can do with a super clamp. You can attach a light to this and then clamp it onto whatever you want to clamp it onto. They're kind of interchangeable like that. What actually makes the super clamp super is the quarter 20 mounts right here and the detachable spigot. This detachable spigot, there are so many other accessories out there that exist that you can put in here and it turns the super clamp into really a very versatile item. For instance, if we take the spigot out and then we take this J hook with the hex stud on it and we slip it in there. And now with two super clamps and J hooks, you have a backdrop. All you need is the backdrop pole. You can even have it so that it's nice and secure since there's a hole in the J hook. And now you have yourself a backdrop holder. Of course, that's not the only thing you could do with the J hook. There's plenty of other things you could do with this, but that's just one example. Now, if we take the J hook out, we can actually use something else called a baby finger. And we can put that, put the stud end in and we tighten it up. And we just take the big handle and we loosen it. And this is on a ball head. Now I can take my baby pin receiver end and I can put it in any direction I want. Maybe we're in a hard to reach position or we need a certain angle for our light. I've used this a handful of times to get a light into hard to reach places as sometimes you need a very specific angle and you can't always get that um, when you're just using the super clamp itself without any accessories. Maybe you're not trying to mount the light though. Maybe you're trying to mount a microphone. So we're going to use this grip head with a hex stud and we're going to put it into the hex hole, tighten it up. And now we actually can take this, it's just like a normal grip head, but we can slide a boom pole through it and then mount our microphone to the other side. Maybe the super clamp's attached to a Vera pole, maybe it's attached to a desk, maybe it's attached to whatever it is you want, but now you can get your boom pole uh, really close to whatever you're mounting to and it's getting it at the perfect angle. Now, of course, you don't need this specialty hex stud grip head. You could just use a normal grip head. You take the stud that comes with the super clamp, put it back in. You take the post end of the grip head, put it onto that stud, tighten it up, and now you've got yourself the same situation. Nice grip head, put the boom pole in and get your microphone wherever you want it to be. Technically, you can do a lot with just the little stud that comes with the super clamp. You can attach a light directly onto this. However, if you want more versatility or your light can't be mounted that close, maybe it just doesn't have enough room so it can't be mounted this close, what you can do instead is take, once again, the stud out of there. Take something like this. This is the right angle stud. It's one of my absolute favorites. It now takes it and makes a nice right angle so that you can put your light out here. Or one of my other favorite things to do is mount a camera to the end of this. Now you might be wondering, how do you get a camera onto 
the little tip of this. Well, I'm actually gonna cover that in another video because it's one of my favorite little tricks and I wanna show it in a dedicated video. I can't give all of my secrets away in this one video, but as you can imagine, this is really great for getting, like I said, a camera mounted onto like a Veripole maybe where you want it like this far away from a wall or it's really great for getting a light mounted perfectly. Um, this can handle a lot of weight because it's got this right angle to it. There is one more accessory that pairs nicely with this in some really odd ways. This is a baby pin wall plate. You've guys seen me use this one before probably a few times in another video, but I might as well just show it off again. Basically, you got your super clamp, you put the wall plate into it. And basically what I've done with this is actually use this as a magnetic surface. Sometimes I'm in places where there's just nowhere to mount stuff magnetically, but I need to. And so this is a really great way to turn a non-magnetic surface into a magnetic surface. So this is one of my tricks that I like to use. This is not the only way to use the wall plate. There are so many other ways that you can use every single one of these items from the baby finger to the wall plate to the right angle stud. There are so many things I want to show you. So I'm going to try to do a dedicated video on each item because each item can do at least three to a dozen different things um, and be used in so many different situations. So if you have anything you do with your super clamp that you think is interesting or weird, maybe you attach a cheese plate to it with the quarter 20 mounts. Maybe you attach eye footage arms like I covered in the last video. I've done that before via the quarter 20 mounts on this. Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, this barely scratches the surface of what I can show you that you can do. There are so many things to do. So hopefully that goes to show you how useful they are. I've attached them to bookcases, vera poles, desks, you name it. <laughs> they get used a lot. Hopefully this video has been useful to you and you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be more rigged series coming. All right, see you next time.